Hello, welcome back. Last time I made it from here to here. So all the way through there. Uh, one snail came along. This snail stuck up here. I need to rescue it. So, I think I'm almost done with this puzzle. Uh, as I was looking back at stuff, I got an idea about what I might need to do next. Ooh, wait. When was this save? Uh, was, was there ever a time... Yes, there was. Okay, this is the one I want. Alright, so... Here's my idea. I move that there. I move you here. I stick you to that. Flounder holds this up. Uh, idea doesn't work. Hmm. What I wanted to do... was to get Shelby to somehow be... Let's see. I want Shelby stuck to this password block over here, and I want to push it to the right. I want to set it on this shelf, because then I won't have to worry about it, and I can manipulate this block. I need to lift this up with the laser being blocked to rescue that snail, I think. And it seems like the easiest way to do that is going to be if I can push. Okay, um, can I get Guppy and Flounder around each other? Not at the moment. Hmm, that's annoying. And I remember there was some reason it had to be this way. I couldn't do it the other way. Hmm. Alright, so she's going to be the one to move this, I guess. Alright, so there are options here. Um, let's try getting you down here. What if I go down one? Uh, well, that happens. What if I move Shelby and then go down one? I think that'll do what I want, so stick you to that. Go down one. You go there. Now go up. Hold this. Move there. Hold that. Stick to this. And there we go, and that's what I wanted. Nice. Okay, so password is in there. Uh, right, now I can transfer to the other fish. Well, so what? Okay, I think what I want to do now well, uh, is maybe... something that might not be entirely possible. Hmm. Wait, uh, what if I do a complicated snail shuffle here? So if you go over there, and you go here, then I still can't really accomplish anything. Hmm. Okay, what exactly do I want? Uh, with Shelby on that side, I can't... Okay, what if Shelby stays on... Well, hmm. I could push the password out a little further. So let's do that, I guess. Not again. Whoops, whoops. So if that's there. Now, how was that going to help me? If I shuffle back around like this, push that, push that. I can lift this up here. Which still isn't quite enough room. I need to push it one more. And I can't quite. Right? Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, no getting around there. Okay, this is pretty tricky. I need to extract this and lift it up here and get the other snail on it. Then I can do everything. That's That will be basically the entire solution. I mean, there's a little bit of shuffling to get this password through there once all that's done, but I don't really need to do anything else after that point. Um, I can do this without losing anything right now. And that's a step that does have to happen, so that's nice. Alright, so I have a lot of options for moving this snail around. But no especially good ones, it seems. Nothing that quite does what I want to do. Uh, 
Well, Certainly I can't do that. That, was the right move. that kills almost everyone. Uh, okay, so. If I push over here and stick to something else for a moment, it doesn't seem like it helps me. No, I don't see how that would help me at all. Okay, well, unless I could... Well, no, I can't... Can I push the password all the way out here and use it as the snail vehicle instead of this block? I don't think so. I can maybe get it one more to the right with some effort somehow. Um... But I don't think I can get it all the way out. I just need something I can ride up there to, to bring you back. But what are my options here? Seems like there aren't very many good ones. Uh, so at one point I was trying to get this far enough left that I could just set it on this platform, then I could reshuffle my fish, get Guppy under here, flounder on the other side. Oh, wait, can I... Can I do that in this configuration somehow? Not quite. Not without dropping that on the floor. Like, yes, I can do this, but that's not what I want. Because now there's just no way to lift this. So I don't want to drop that on the floor. Is there any other way to get Flounder all the way around here? Okay, so, sure. Push that. And I guess I'll save this. Because I can. Um, no, he's pretty much in the way. Shelby can't really go anywhere right now. I can push this left. It uh, doesn't help anything. If I could get Shelby to crawl around to the other side of that block somehow... Oh, which I can. Watch this. Aha. Uh -huh. This might help. So all the way over there, and then transfer to the other fish. Yeah, so what? That's... I still need one more, unless I can teleport Guppy from here to here, which I can't. <laughs> In case you didn't know, teleportation is not a thing. Uh, and I, I can no longer to. go up there. Okay, still can't set this on that shelf. And it doesn't really help to make you vertical, like this. That just, that just kills you. But you are protected if you're like this. So cool, that's nice, but Guppy's not. Well, I don't think that was the right move. If she could go there, that'd be nice, but she can't. There's nothing I can do with this to get that pushed farther left. Hmm. And I'm not entirely sure pushing it left is the solution. Because even if I did, Flounder would still be on the wrong side of it. And I really want to push it to the right, not to the left. Okay, so maybe I should focus more on getting it to the right. The only way that's going to happen is if Flounder is in here. And how would that happen? Not with the password where it is. Can I get Guppy to the other side? No. Not again. Can't. Yeah, so I can't switch the side that my fish are on. And that seems to be the entirety of my problem here. So at least I don't have to worry about the password at the moment. But maybe I should? Maybe it can help me somehow. But how could that be? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. 
although I could move Shelby now. Okay, so what if I did this? This is something different. It doesn't seem helpful at all, because now I just can't stick a snail to that and it's just kind of stuck where it is. It'll fall down or something. Unless I could have you on the other side. Okay, I can have you on the other side. All right, you're on the other side. Sure. Now what? Will this help me? I don't see how it would. Yet, but maybe there's a way? Doesn't seem like it to me. Hmm. I know I can push this a little bit, but it's not enough. That's as far as that can go. Okay, so what else can I do? I can do this. Why would I care? I wouldn't. Uh, I guess I can... Oh, hey. Can this ever be useful? Unlikely. I don't see how. I mean, it's something I can do, I guess. Oh, but it's... Oh, dear. Well, hey, switch to, switch to Shelby. So if you are there, and then you're here, stuck to that. I don't feel like I've accomplished anything. I feel like I've just stepped backward a few steps. I think I have. Well, okay, wait a second. This might be... So being able to lift him up, oh, well, I, I can't go any further than that. No, this oh, doesn't, doesn't help. All right, what am I missing? Uh, let's try going back to a time when I hadn't pushed that off. Can I do anything productive by doing this? Doesn't feel like it to me. No, certainly not. I should have seen that come. What about this? Well, that keeps this out of the hole, so I guess I do have another tool now for a moment. Okay, this could be something. Yeah, so if that's not in the hole, maybe it can act as a laser shield. So stick to that. That's interesting. Yeah, this might be able to turn into something somehow. Um, whew, how though? Maybe like this. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, so you're holding that up, which means you can let go of this, but nobody can really go anywhere. Uh, or can you? So if you stick to this, then you can go over here. I don't know why that would matter, though. I can't oh, go up. Well, if Shelby were stuck to that instead, I guess I could. Uh, this is going to kill Flounder. Sorry about that. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. Well, hang on, I can push this. Well, no, I can. Yes, I... Uh, uh, can't I? Isn't there a way I can do this? So you go down, you go left, you go up. And then... 
No, that's, that's going to kill her Oops. if I do that. So if you went down, and then I did this. Not really a fan of having this object in here. In fact, now that that's there, it's going to be a pain to get it out of there. However, humor me for a moment. Uh, no, this is terrible. This isn't going anywhere good. I was thinking of... Uh, no, there's no way that can happen. I was thinking of ways to get Shelby on the underside of this. That doesn't sound like a great idea, but it would make a laser barrier so I could manipulate these things without worrying about that. But, like, that doesn't help anything. Hmm. So, wait. Isn't this a configuration where I can lift up and do this? It is! Hey, Flounder's on the other side! That's good! That's very good, potentially. So I'm gonna go to the right, I think. Uh, before I go to the right, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Alright, so the difference between this and the last configuration I had is that Flounder is on the left now. He can push that in there. Yeah! This is perfect. I just need you to stick to that. You go there. Now you stick to this, and I think that's everything I need. Kind of. Um, yes, it totally is. Yay! All right, good stuff. Switch sides, and let's get that other snail. Yay! All right, now Flounder's in there. That could become a problem. It's possible. Um, all right, so you go down and push that over there. So he's in the way. I can't get him out of the way at this point. Uh-oh. So, let's see. I'm going to push a snail car in here. And I think I need to get a snail off it, actually. Let's just park one of you... I don't know, here? Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh. Well, that's a complicated matter, isn't it? Um, hmm. Huh. This won't work the way I want it to. So go back to before I pushed that left. Um, let's move you around like that. Well, now I can't push it left. Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I move over here, I do this, I'm gonna, I guess I just have to park a snail in a different place. Like say, I'll take you over here, take you over here, put you there maybe, lift this, transfer to him, I can't transfer to him. Unless maybe I push that password out a little bit more. Whoo, this is complicated. Whoops. Wait. That's a weird noise. Huh. So that's out there. Why would I want that? I'm not sure yet. Ugh. This doesn't do me any good, what I'm doing here, does it? Oh, maybe it can? Like, if you get on there, push left, get up, wait, what if I do this? Well, I guess I can set it there now. So that could be something, maybe. Yes, that could definitely be something. 
So I'm going to move Flounder all the way over here. I may be doing something more complicated than necessary, but I don't see a simpler way currently. There's a snail. So to get Flounder around Guppy. Don't I need two snails for this? Wait, no, no, no. I want to do this, I think. Well, maybe. If I move this over here... Yeah, so watch this. You can come through there. You can lift... Well, you can't lift that up at the same time, though. Oh, man. Ugh. Maybe I need to move the password in here. Use it to block stuff so I can... I don't really know. This is hard. Hmm. Yeah, there's no place to, for, for Flounder to hide while all this happens. Like, I want to stick him up here while that's lifted up there. But I can't. There's no room. I do need to get her in here at some point to push that left. Maybe I should be moving the password already. Let's try that. Seems like Shelby's in the way. Hmm. Ooh, let's not do that. This could maybe work, maybe, somehow. Okay, yeah, so I can move you there, move you here, get you around. There we go, that's, I have something. Got him on the other side, good. So now, you just chill out in there for a moment. I'm gonna move this, move, um... Yeah, there we go. She can go both ways through there. Here we go. This is good. So, next task. Set this here. Let's just save. That should be easy to do, I think. Just need two snails' assistance with that. One there-ish. One here-ish. Uh, that doesn't quite work. That's okay, I can make it work. So, oops. Push you there. Yeah, I'm done here. Puzzle finished. Good stuff. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, puzzle not quite finished. Um, I think I can just do that for a bit. Probably want to hold that up. Uh-huh. Okay, puzzle finished. Really sure I got what I need here. All right, so you get lost. Thanks for your service. <laughs> I guess I could be a little nicer to the snails. You unstick. That's there. Good. Push the password and I'm done. Right. Um, so all I want, all I need to do for that to happen is just stick a snail to the bottom of it for a brief moment. Get it in there, and yeah, I'm finished. Uh, here, you you should probably get out of the way. Okay. This looks good to me. I think I win. Yay! Yes! Did you see it, Flounder? Just before it fell out of the room. <laughs> I saw it, Guppy. Such a simple password. I'm surprised it didn't occur to me to try it. I didn't see it. What was it? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! The Uber Critter? What? So there was a story thread way back in the early parts of this. Jack the Fisher was supposed to be the villain. Then we found him frozen on a beach. Couldn't unfreeze him. Um, that was like way back here. Uh, where was it exactly? I forget. All right. Well, hey, that's done. That's good. Uh, what might you be? The Uber Critter.
Uh huh. So that's how they're split up. Right. the ocean has ever seen. Of course, it may look familiar, because I made it from you. Yes, from your DNA, I took only your best features and discarded all those messy mistakes of evolution, something you should have done yourselves long ago. Whoa. The result, which you see before you now, is the perfect body. The perfect body for a perfect mind. Yes, that's right. Even as you sit there gawking, my mind will be uploaded into my creation. When the process is complete, I shall become the overcritter and rule the world. And there's nothing you can do. <laughs> So is this on a timer or something? Or a turn limit? One of us has to get inside that chamber with the uber critter and push the cancel button. But we only have a limited, limited number, of moves. number of moves. If you use too many, the upload will be complete before we can get there. Then we better hurry. Well, this looks horrifying. Oh, and there are starfish. Oh boy, four of them that I would have to get within the move limit. Okay, so somebody's got to push that, and that somebody is going to be... No, everybody has to just be in this chamber? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's what the dotted outline means, right? Okay, so this is uh, terrifying, obviously. What What's on your head? You have a bunch of stuff there, turtle face. All right, yeah, so I get 400 moves to do this. Oh, boy, so this is an efficiency puzzle on top of all of whatever this is. Somebody's going to have to go down through all this. There are lasers and stuff. There's seaweed, so, like, how much laser blocking could I do with this? Just, like, see you, Virgil. Um, wait, I don't want to go that far down. <laughs> Cold has things to say. So, maybe it's not, like, horrendously complicated to get... Whoops! That might work. <laughs> it sure did. Uh, it might not be horrendously complicated to get each individual through here. But the move limit might be my real enemy here. Yeah, look look how many moves it's taking just to get these two through. That's well, it's a lot. I don't know if that's the most powerful creature in the ocean I've ever seen, but it sure is the ugliest. <laughs> uh hmm. Like I'm already a hundred moves down. What is that's just, wait, that's just solid? Hold on, so... So it's a snail that pushes the button, if I'm seeing what I think I am. Right, is this solid? That is solid. So it's either seahorse or snail. Those are the only things that can fit through here. And yeah, that's, that's properly solid, that's actual wall. Okay, so Shelby's gonna have to save the day. Or Colt. Uh, probably Shelby, but what's all this? How would... Okay, so this radioactive thing needs to, like, lift up for a moment or something? It can go up a little bit. Well, this sure is a puzzle. <laughs> so, a 400 move limit theoretically keeps the complexity to a certain level. But it's going to be kind of 
demanding to do all that. Okay, so clearly, like, this is this is a big snail run Shelby, through here. Do you think that's my best feature? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, so it's it's like a, a huge snail body here. Turtle shell, crab claws, and legs, I guess. King crab's jewelry somehow, I guess that was in his DNA. Don't know what this armor plating stuff is. I don't really clearly see elements of guppy and flounder in here. Uh, nothing really identifiable from Virgil either, but I guess, well, he's a crab, King Crab's a crab, whatever. Uh, yeah. Are those snail eyes? I guess maybe, and yeah, where's uh, Colton here? Where are the seahorse parts? I don't know. Okay, well that's what the final puzzle looks like. Huh. <laughs> so I know there are 80 starfish in the whole game. All right. So yeah, like I said, next time I might not go straight here. I think maybe an appropriate thing to do would be, yeah, probably enter the lab. Now that I can see how the characters were all split up. Uh, I would love to get this wild card. Well, as I don't care about getting the wild card back. I care about clearing the puzzle. And three pack one of these days, two I'll have to work on. And then there's all these starfish to hunt down. And I guess that's it, really. Just final puzzle, starfish, the ones I wild carded. And the starfish bonuses. Oh, and I guess if I wanted to, there would be, um, there'd be these. I don't know if I want to. I know I don't want to do this. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. All right. So I can see all the puzzles now. That's pretty nice. Uh, other than like starfish bonuses, if there are any more of those. All right. Uh, I'll see you next time to maybe work on this some or this or starfish hunt. Or I could work on this. I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Okay, well, I'll see you then.